am going to eventually do a whole video on why antivirus, just the concept of it, doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to give you some examples here on just how stupid antiviruses and how basically it's, it's just guessing and it does a horrible job at it and it's just there to make you feel better but really it just runs in the background makes your computer run worse so uh, I was recently at a Windows machine and uh, I'm going to I've already recorded these videos I'm going to do a little voice over here but here we go so here is a project of mine on github or GitLab. It's my bin. It's just a bunch of random scripts and code that I've written. If I go into this one, which uh, allows me to play some Nintendo games, and I go into the bin folder, I have a an exe file here, a play NES exe. When I go to download it, and this is something I wrote, it pops up here and says failed. It's a virus. And then Microsoft Security Essentials says, oh, this is a detective virus, and it deletes it, right? Well, it, it's not. Let me copy that. Let me go to, to Virus Total, which is a website that will scan files for you against a whole bunch of antivirus software. Look, all these antivirus programs think it's fine. So why do these antivirus programs think it's fine, but Windows Essential doesn't think it's fine? Because they're just guessing, and it guessed differently. Let's go back and look at the actual source code for this binary because again I wrote this and I compiled it if we go into the win32 file and click on the main C file all it does is call a PowerShell script from a URL well maybe that PowerShell script which I also wrote is malicious let's grab its URL and have a look at it load it up in the web browser here and just look at the text of it all it does the first thing it does is it loads up uh, a media player and tries to stream Mario Brothers music from a website as it's downloading on the files what files are downloaded well, I have a function here basic download function you know from an example uh, tutorial on how to download stuff with PowerShell and I have two URLs in here that it downloads one from Dropbox which is a zip file which can contains a, an, a, a Nintendo emulator, a very common one, FCEX. So if we take that and I go to download it, the computer has no problem with it. So if that was the issue with my script, it should have an issue with the actual file that's being downloaded, and apparently not. Let's go ahead and look at the other file, which is just a text file that has a long list of URLs to Nintendo ROMs so that you can download a uh, Nintendo ROM and play it with that emulator we just downloaded. Uh, so yeah, that's not gonna be the issue. It's just a text file with a long list of URLs. Let's look at this a little deeper. Here is that long list of uh, URLs that are zip files. Let's just try to download one of those and see if there's an issue. And I'm going to tell you there is, but it's a different issue. It's Chrome try, trying to tell me that uh, this program can be malicious. I'm assuming just because it's a zip file. I, I'm not really sure. It's dangerous. Uh, if I, I thought maybe it was because I just did HTTP, but I added the HTTPS and it still said that. If I run that through VirusTotal, again, it's clean. It's a clean file called all these. It's not saying it's a virus. It's just saying that it may contain something. It just might contain something malicious. So Chrome is not letting me download it. I can go to my shell and type in wget and download that, that same exact URL, even without the HTTPS, which could be a, 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 you know an issue, but I did it with the HTTP and I downloaded it. Look, I'll open up. Look, here it's telling me that this it doesn't recognize this emulator. Again, this is a very commonly used open source emulator, uh, and it's telling me, oh we don't know who it is. I click on the ROM file. It seems to run fine. There's nothing wrong with any of the files, any of the URLs, any of the links that I was trying to load, but antivirus. Uh, was having a hissy fit and Windows fake security where they, oh, we don't recognize this. Oh, so Microsoft doesn't know who this is. So right away, we're going to assume that it's bad. Guys, antivirus, which really should be called anti-malicious software, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and I, I, I will do a video going into depth on this, but don't, don't fall for it. It doesn't matter what operating system you run. The only thing you have to do is don't download malicious software. That's it. Have a great day.